So as you can see here, what I've done is I've at attached an XREF. So I'm just going to type XREF so that we can see um, what we have attached here. And I can see I've attached this detail drawing to it. So what AutoCAD does in that case is it takes the name of the file and it actually appends that um, as a prefix to the name of the layer. So I can see detail and then the pipe symbol, so the vertical line, and then the name of the layer from the XREF. It does this to keep the XREF layer separate from the host drawing. Otherwise, you'd have the issue about you know, the same layer name existing in both, both drawings and then it wanting to use the um, properties from the host drawing because that's what happens with blocks. So in the case of XREFs, what it does is it actually um, prepends or prepends the name here um, with the pipe symbol in front of the name. Now, if I take and I go to bind that XREF, so I've changed my mind. I don't really want this to be um, you know, a separate drawing. I'd like to copy this all in um, as, a, as a block. So what I do is I'm going to right click and say pend. Notice I've got the options here to bind or to insert. So if I take the bind option here and I click OK, we can see that it's converted it into a block. And if I take a look at the list here, what I can see is that it actually left the layers as they were. So it left the name. And what it did is actually went dollar sign zero, dollar sign the name of the layer. So the XREF was actually on layer zero when it was placed in. And then we can actually see the name of the layer that was placed on. So it keeps the layers separate so that even though it's been appended and actually um, converted to be part of this drawing, it's left the layers as separate names. Now let's just undo that quickly. Let's bring that back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bind it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the insert option instead. And by using the insert option instead, when I click OK here, what it does is actually merges the layers in there. So we can see there's no longer the detail layers. And anything that would have been, um, any of the layer properties that might have been different, um, so maybe this columns layer was blue in, in the XREF, those objects would then take on the properties of the layer in the host drawing. So it merges them and actually merges the objects into the existing layer scheme. So that's how XREFs um, behave with layers.